we like. That is what we like. A little midday coffee. Lunch accomplished. Let Tally run out. Had some really good sandwiches. And we decided we're gonna stay on this stretch but go upstream. And we haven't fished any of that yet. It's looking pretty good from where we're standing right now. There's still so much water to cover. We've barely fished any of this river and it's already been awesome. So no reason to leave fish to find fish. Well, it's time for a little after lunch action here. I feel like before lunch, there was definitely more of a brown color. And right here, there's more of a blue color. I don't know how that's gonna influence things, but definitely seems like the water color has changed without a doubt. Oh my God. Gonna eat right in front of my face. That was crazy. Big fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Oh yeah, there we go. Gosh, dude. So strong. Look at that. Beauty. Beautiful boy. Alright, look at that. There he goes. See you guy. Well, we've been fishing for a pretty long time now. It's about time to call it. It's 8 p.m. I'm hungry. Scotty's hungry. I know Tally's probably hungry too. So we're gonna head back to the van, make some food, call it a day, and decide what we're gonna do tomorrow. We have two more days left on this trip, and it's two days of precious time left in Canada. Dirty dude. <laughs> it's dirty. Good morning, my YouTube friends. We just made some coffee, made some oatmeal, and we're gonna hop in the van and move downstream. Let's fish another stretch of river today. Do some exploring. Take you along for the ride. We're gonna leave Tally again because she can be a little sh while we're fishing <laughs> and it's cool enough temperatures outside she's had her time to run around and uh, I think it's about time to do the thing so today it's just like completely different conditions the sun's out and the water is super super blue yesterday it was high and silty 
So I wonder how that's gonna factor into today's fishing. Is that him? That was a fish. Big bully, big bully, big bully. On the swing. Going bump, going boom. It is not on like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong has left the jungle. It's crazy, it's like it turns on and it's sick. Like yesterday when we hit it. And I definitely feel like something has changed. Probably the water. I mean, we caught one like small bully earlier, but. It isn't in fact a bull trout. Compared to yesterday, today is not on par. Spay fishing. Dude, look at that. Is that better? Does that yeah. look okay? You're spay fishing, bro. That felt a little better. Oh, there you go. Got one. Oh no! Damn, this is kind of a, it's kind of addicting. That feeling. <laughs> it was like do do do. Oh, bump. Oh, fish. Well, we got our big river, big fish fix, that's for sure. We're making the call to switch rivers yet again and uh, go for some small water. Maybe do some cutty fishing, throw some dries. I mean, I'm really pumped to fish for cutties. My arms are tired. I know Scotty's arms are tired. Casting a five way, it sounds awesome right now. So that's what we're gonna do.
made it to some new water. We woke up to definitely a drop in temperature. We're higher in the mountains, more up in the headwaters of this river. different from what we saw yesterday. Do we have to fish that? I know we were planning on going a little further down, but that looks too juicy. Of course, we're walking down the road to the river and our first look at the river, Scotty decided it's time to walk down and fish. Couldn't pass it up. I mean, if you want to actually make it to where you're going, just don't look at the river. Bottom line. Well, we caved and brought Tally. I couldn't let her sit in the van any longer. Walking around with her, even though she can be a little sh and she'll probably ruin some of the holes. This is normal. If anyone out there has a dog and likes to fish, you know how it feels. We just we just bumped into some friends here on the on the river. We got Pat and Josh, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're giving us a little bit of that juicy Alberta intel right now. <laughs> <laughs> So what's what's the deal? Where we're heading downstream, what should we be kind of pulling out of our fly box and everything? Anything your grandfather would have tied will work really well around here. I <laughs> love it, dude. Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys watching yeah. and checking oh, yeah, out the videos. Sure. It's really we'll cool to pop into y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, <laughs> gang, great yeah, meeting y'all. Good to see you. Thanks, nice Scotty. Yeah, of course. Well, Cheers. As our trip comes to a close, I reflect on many of the experiences I shared with Scotty and Tally.
Our lives are busy, and the last four days of fishing have been a much needed break from the real world. Every year I get older, it seems like time goes by faster. Summer doesn't last forever, and for my mental health, it's important to take time off and do what I love. Fly fishing for native fish in Canada has been a transformative experience. When I see the quality of the native fish and the fisheries, it gives me a new perspective on my own home. It gives me more reason to help protect what we have so that future generations can also enjoy our beautiful mountain streams. One man's trash is another man's treasure. It actually tastes pretty good. A little on the skunky side. <laughs> Just a wee bit? Just a wee bit. Oh, dude. This is like Canada's Bud Light, it smells like. That's in the smell and taste, not a political thing. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>